to the um to the um <laughs> my life I forgot if I pushed the button I did okay <laughs> Let me mute myself there. Okay. Um, hello. Oh boy. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't know how to. Hang on. Let me redo. Open this. I forgot how to set up to do animations. Um, how do I do this again? <laughs> um, I forgot how to add like the timeline in here. Do I do it down here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sweet. I figured it out. Um, okay. So, hello, by the way. Um, I don't know what I'm going to really do with this. I'm just kind of messing around. <sighs> oh, yeah, yeah. Don't know how this is going to go, but I think it'll be fun. I'm going to try and do a simple, I think I'll do a run cycle instead of a walk cycle, honestly. Um, I forget how to do this. I think I need an animation folder. And I'll do like 12 frames, I guess. I think you do it like this, right? It's been a while. <laughs> um, just setting this up. And then 12. Can I zoom in here? It's kind of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I want. Um, okay. So now if I do this... And then I turn on, is this it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, okay, I figured it out. <laughs> and then play. Sweet, okay, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> and then like if I put something on this layer, it should stay. Right? So I can do like a background. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Sweet. <laughs> All right. So, should I do a simple background first? Maybe I'll just do like a. Floor to run on. Um, like I said, I've never really done a lot of animation. I've done like a, a few like flip books when I was like a kid, you know, with a um, post-it notes. That's about it. And then you like flip them, you know, <laughs> that's everything. How's it going, Hassan? But the reason I want to practice an animation today is the, the prompt for um, what is it? September, I forgot what month it was. The prompt for September on this channel. I give out a drawing prompt each week and also for the months. Uh, the prompt for September is inspiration. And um, 
I sort of was watching some tutorials of like game design and stuff and it's kind of I didn't realize it was that accessible, you know, with like Unity and Unreal Engine and stuff, so it was kind of inspiring, right? When it comes to like inspiration, that's really all I have right now, so. So I thought I'd do like a simple, I thought I'd do a walk cycle, but I think I'll do a run cycle. Let's just see what this looks like. I'll just doodle an initial thing. I have a bit of reference of just like some stickman running, you know? How the shoulders kind of swing. I'm just here to have fun today though, ultimately. Do, do, do. I just want to get a feel for this. Maybe I'll do like a big shouldered character or something. Do, 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 do. Back a little more. But like that's the the thing, right? Is you is there a way to move between frames? Is there like a hotkey for that? Can probably set them. Anyway, I don't know. Maybe this head should come down. funny. Um, hold on, what's the previous one? It's like this. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be good, I can already tell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then... So what I'll do today is, um, I'm going to try and lay out the skeleton of all this. So this would be like swinging back now. And then tomorrow I'll try and draw over top with the skeleton that I create today with like a character. Maybe I'll use the character I designed a few weeks ago. This is gonna look really funny. I'm almost, I wanna hurry so I can see what it looks like at the end. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so then. Um, I want this shoulder to be going back now. And then this one's like forward. C. 
swinging like the arm in front. Now this leg is it's moving and this one's heading away. <laughs> uh, I don't know, this is just, this is really fun. I'm having a lot of fun already. What the heck? Um, like a cross so this is I want it to be like pointing it's so maybe like two more frames I don't know if I'm gonna make the full loop here how many frames do I have 12 so this is halfway um, okay we got a siren or do we? Maybe not. Should probably add like a line for the eyes on all these. How's it going, B man? Welcome to uh, whatever this is. <laughs> I'm just messing around. Um, some animation today. Um, I don't know if that's right. This is like, oh yeah. and then I want this arm to be all the way back. How's it going, virtual boy? Mm -hmm. I said that in the the um, title of this video and everything of this stream. Uh, that would be a walk cycle, but it's more of a run cycle, hey? <laughs> Does that matter? I guess not.
Um, I feel like I'm repeating the same motion. Step. Maybe not. So what's the back leg doing? Over and then. What is this leg doing? Do, 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 do. Reanimating? Yeah, I guess so. Popsaki, how's it going? I felt like it today, you know? The prompt is inspiration. And um, yesterday night and the night before, I, uh, I got a little inspired watching some, like, just randomly watching videos of, like, Unity and Unreal Engine and stuff. Game design stuff. Just randomly watched some tutorials. <laughs> So, um, kind of, I'm in the mood to, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just having fun. <laughs> Let's see how it looks so far. How do I play? Like this. <laughs> he looks like he's gonna fall over. Can I like play over a certain section? Like only the part that I have frames? Maybe if I hide these? Extra ones? No. <laughs> it doesn't look too bad. I'm basically just copying some reference right now. Some um... I have a sprite from Mischief Makers on the N64, just like a running sprite. Sprite sheet or whatever they're called. I'm just trying to kind of copy the motions. And then um, I might redo this and try and simplify it more. What I, what I, my goal is with this is um, today I'll have like a skeleton done. This is just like the first attempt, I guess you'd say. And then um, maybe I'll, I'll try and like plot it out a little better and then redo like a more of a clean skeleton. And then um, next, next, not next week, tomorrow, not tomorrow. I'll, uh, I'll try and put a character on top of that skeleton, you know? You can drag the, the playheads to adjust. It. Oh, okay. I see, I see. So I can do this. Aha. Uh -huh. Oops. There. He's kind of sinking. It looks like he's running in quicksand. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. How's it going, Cinex? You can animate in Clip Studio Paint Pro. Thought it was an EX only feature. You can, but it's limited to. I don't. I don't know how it's limited. I think it's like only twenty four frames or something, or like only. It's like it's limited, so you can only do really simple stuff. But it's still fully available. It's just. I'm pretty sure it's just a limitation on how long it can be. I just don't know exactly what the limitation is. I've never really messed with it enough to to know. Um, 
I don't even know what frame I'm on anymore <laughs> with this reference. Whatever, I'll just continue. So this leg is now coming forward. Boy, it's hard to tell what's going on, hey? With this, like that. Hold on, let me go from here. Back and then forward, kick, plant. Like that. And then this comes back, I guess. It's kind of a weird 3D angle that I'm drawing this into. And then this back leg would probably still be what was happening before going up, so it should still be up, I think, for one frame. Um, by the way, I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, right, simple walk cycle proceeds to do three-quarter angle. It's not my fault, I swear. <laughs> I just grabbed a, um, it's because of the reference, really, that I'm using. It's not very helpful, though. I mean, it is kind of helpful because I can see where the shoulders are really well. That's giving me um, a bit of insight. If you think about running, your shoulders kind of swing like that, eh? Um, I guess so. This comes forward. It kind of mirrors what the other leg is doing in a weird way. It seems like it, at least. And then this keeps shifting over. This shoulder keeps going further back. Um, maybe when the foot is planted, the head can be up. Because I feel like it was sinking, right? I feel like this head can maybe raise up a bit here. This is fun. <laughs> this is really fun. What the heck? Why didn't anybody tell me? How's that look? Can I like press spacebar? There must be a hotkey for this. Um, animation. Yeah, I guess I just don't have anything, any hotkeys set. Oh well, who cares? It still looks like he's kind of sinking. That doesn't look too bad, though. I'm looking at the legs, the way they kind of flick back. This back leg is dragging too long here. Where is that? Here, maybe? This is really fun. And then down, like that. Here. So here it should be up. Just a little more. Right? How's that look? Yeah, 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 that fixed it. I think the front leg is okay. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, these arms, hey? <laughs> it looks a little funny. Um, hmm. Default hotkeys for going between frames are up and down arrow. Yeah, I might have disabled them. Because I'm just using my default workspace and I kind of turned off a lot of hotkeys with it and then um, set my own. So I think I disabled a lot of hotkeys that I just wasn't using. Because I don't really have a workspace set up for animation. Oh well, I could just click for now. You know, when I 
I'd like to um to practice this a little more. By the way, hello, Elias, MG. Um, maybe in the future I'll set up some hotkeys. I feel like these arms are maybe this one because it needs to go back, not forward like that. Heading away like this. Um, and then This needs to swing forward. This one is too close. Boy, this is hard. <laughs> and then... I think I might have messed up these arms. That's fine. This is just my very first attempt. <laughs> um. What about these legs? Down. And then this, swinging forward now. What's my frame one? Frame one is like that. Somehow I need to get there. <laughs> So it's probably a good idea to lay out on, you know, like have it start at some point and then be like, okay, the foot hits the ground here and then this next foot hits the ground, right? Like plot it out like that so you know what is going to be on each frame. That's probably helpful, I'm guessing. I feel like this guy's going to be like falling over on this frame. <laughs> I feel like I lost it. <laughs> Poor guy. Hmm. Oh well, let's just continue, see what happens. <laughs> it was going so well. <laughs> Did you do straight ahead animation um maybe i don't i honestly don't know what that means <laughs> basically i just opened this up and started doodling do i have the arm going back i do <laughs> this is going to look funny, I can tell. So I need to do, get this planted. Hold on, am I going backwards? I am. Dum. And backwards here.
Maybe he's like gaining speed. <laughs> it kind of looks like he's gaining speed. Um. It's really different. It's funny how that happens. Okay, let's see what this looks like. I'm curious. That's why I kind of rushed the last bit. That's not too bad. It doesn't really loop. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I should probably um, simplify it and just do like a really, really, really simple thing, hey? But that's cool for a first attempt. The, um, what is it called? The onion skin? Being able to see what's on the previous frame and the next frame is really helpful. On this last frame, I can. Bring this forward. Still is pretty jumpy. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Anyway, um, let me try again. In fact, what I'll do this time, that was fun. <laughs> I'm just gonna clear all of this. I'm gonna clear the background too. And I'll try and draw something that fits the whole box. That way it'll be a little easier to see. I'll try and do something more simple. Straight ahead is animating each frame in the order they'd appear from the start pose to the finish pose. Okay. Yeah, that's what I did straight ahead. Yeah, I just went Frame 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 12. Um, pose to pose where you draw the keyframes, then add frames in between, I see. I didn't know there was um, terms for it. I guess there would be, though. There's terms for everything. <laughs> um, I'm just looking at my reference here. I have all the kind of like the frames of like a person running laid out here, but I put them in the wrong order and I can't tell what order is correct. <laughs> yeah, I'll try post to pose next time around. Um, okay. And by next time around, I mean right now. <laughs> I'll try and fill the whole thing too. It might be a little easier to see. And I'll do like a stick man. That might be easier. How should I do it? Um, Maybe like, um, kind of like this. Or something? That might be a little difficult. Um, yeah, whatever. I'll just doodle like the way I did before. Okay. So I'll start with, hold on, let me look at my reference here. This is kind of bothering me. Let me fix this. Um, I have these in the wrong order. Two, three. Bear with me one second here. Um, 
Okay. So I'll try and find the the keyframes here, like probably the foot hitting the ground is a good one I'm guessing, right? <laughs> Okay. Um, so one, two, three, four. Looks like it hits the ground on four. Let me do this pose first. And again, I'll do these big shoulders. This leg is like hitting the ground on four. Hmm. And I, I guess I'm doing three quarter again. I'm using the same reference, so <laughs> what can you do? Kind of like that. Kind of like mid swing back. How's it going, Carlos? Is this your first animation stream? I think it might be. I don't know. Could be. I feel like I did one a long time ago. I don't remember though. Do like a foot as well? Nah. Okay. And then the other leg. Yeah, so it's like one, one, two, three, four. So it would be one, two, three, four, five, six. This would be the opposite. Watching Better Call Saul lately. I always hear about that show. I don't know what it is though. <laughs> Who's Saul? <laughs> hmm. um, pose to pose, so you draw the keyframes first and add the frames in between. So I wonder if I can, I'm going to copy this, put it here. Just so that I have like a, an idea of the proportions and like the size and stuff. I wanted to fit in the entire box, but I guess I didn't. <laughs> okay. Then I'll draw, which frame was it again I want to do? That one, hey? So this one, the arms are similar again, because it's kind of mid-stride, but it's basically this leg is forward instead. Okay. Closer, right? Um, I 
Already season three. How many seasons are there, Carlos? Is that a lot? Are you like binge watching it? I haven't binge watched something in a long time. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I used to do it all the time though, with like anime. <laughs> Term should be pretty much the same, I'm thinking. But it's swinging the other way, so maybe like this one can be just a little lower, and this one can be a little higher. Bum, bum. Dun, 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 dun. I think this head's a little weird. It's fine. So then, hmm. yeah, I'll look at them. Um, I'll look at that popsaki. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I'll try that after this one. That looks cool. Common key keyframe guide for walk cycles. One half view. Yeah, yeah, I'll try that after this one. Thanks for that. I'm really just messing around today, you know, I have no goal or anything, so I'll try like a number of different methods and different angles and stuff. Then I want to do the other important frame. Honestly, it looks like this one. Frame one here is like the cross. And then I'll do the other cross. And then hopefully the in-betweens will just be really quick. Yeah, feel free to send all the info you have. Like I said, I'm just I'm just messing around today. I have no goal, no aim, or anything. I've already done what I was planning on doing, which was that first attempt, right? So it's not like I have any um, plans for today. I'm just, uh, you know. This is my <laughs> my submission for the inspiration prompt, right? So it's very fitting. Whatever happens, happens. And then this arm is kind of swinging like this. And then His knee has to be kind of like this. And then like planted here. Almost looks like he's got funny pants on. Like hammer pants or something. Hammer time. I've always loved animation. I've just never really uh, messed with it, you know? Do, 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 do. Okay. Be a little too much, but that's fine. So here's that one. So I need this one, which would be the open pose. God, this is really fun. <laughs> How's it going, error guy? Chairman. Hello, everybody. Yeah, I'm just messing around today. 
with animation. Having fun. If you have any um, tips or anything, feel free. Because I, I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just uh, just experimenting. Um, I think that head's big. <laughs> Hmm. I'm wondering when the head should go down and when it should go up as well. I'm assuming there's like a lot of little information like that. Like in this case, when you take a step, I guess, your head goes down maybe? Hmm. Can you show the animation? Um, I don't have a lot of... I'm working on like a bunch of frames that aren't really connected so right now it's not really there <laughs> if you rewind in the uh, the live stream you could see my first attempt though i don't know how long ago it was but um maybe like 20 minutes ago or something rewind <laughs> 10 20 minutes ago and you could see a little something That's when the arm is. Hmm. Basically, like that. that one. I'm just trying to find like the most iconic poses, <laughs> like where the foot's hitting the ground, or like when the absolute, like the extent of the swing this way, and then I'll do the swing the other way, which would be, which frame is that? It's probably that one. Which would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This one. Trying to keep the head relatively sane in the same place. Hmm. Have you watched Alan Becker's? No, I haven't. Tutorial series about the 12 principles of animation. Yeah, I haven't. Um, who's Alan Becker? I feel like I know that name. <laughs> I can't put a face to the name though. This is pretty much my first time um, ever really doing animation aside from like little flipbook animations in like elementary school like art class or something Hmm. 
Animation versus animator series? Yeah, I don't I don't know that one. I don't know a lot about like YouTube animators. Remember they used to pop up on my recommended videos all the time. Way back in the day. Like 2018 and stuff like that. I never really watched them. <laughs> the back leg first. Hmm. No, I don't know it. Error guy. I don't like the uh, the art style a lot of the YouTube animators use. That's why I never really watched them. Like the new ground sort of art style. I never really liked that. This is correct, but let's see. Dum, dum, dum. Hold on, I'm confused here. This, this. Not too bad, let's see. <laughs> There's a bit of flashing. So now I can kind of do in between stuff. Really hard to think about this in three-quarter perspective. <laughs> I could have picked something a little more accessible. Oh well, I'm having fun. <laughs> Either way, would help to have a floor too, hey? Gigantic head, of course. What? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It looks kind of odd. Why? Because this leg isn't moving. Hey. Um. Didn't you use crit up before? I haven't. I've never used crit up. I've used Clip Studio Paint, which is what I use now, and then um, before that I used Autodesk Sketchbook. 
just for a little bit. Those are the only drawing programs I've ever used. Yeah, I don't know, this is hard. Critted the whole time? No. <laughs> I know, he's Clip Studio. <laughs> That's funny. course. Yeah, so there's obviously a lot of like bounce going on. That's hard to do, hey? Boy, this is... Um, hard to... Yeah, yeah, I'll keep filling it in. It's really hard to do this, huh? <laughs> How's it going, Giga? I'm just doing some uh, messing around with some animation. That's all. So I have the frame in between here, so I just need to draw this. And then that's that. Just having fun, Giga. <laughs> Thought I'd do something new, you know? This onion skin is so helpful. <laughs> wow, this is cool. <laughs> Why are you blue? I don't know. It's just uh, it's the way it happened. So this leg is coming forward. Don't. There's the step. Now it needs to be kind of like, green is next. Send this back a little more.
right? <laughs> sure. Then here comes that arm swinging forward. Backing it up. This can come down a little more. Or no, it can't. It does on the next frame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tune like that. Hard to keep track of what is what, though, eh? Step. fun. I don't really know what I'm doing, but it's pretty fun. <laughs> what frame am I on? Seven. Um, I'm wondering if this would be, like, where's the frame where the arms swing out the most? I think it should be seven. This way and then start coming back. Back, back, a little more here. And then this can honestly come in more. Hmm. Yeah, it is really fun. I'm having I'm having a lot of fun. It's like a puzzle. <laughs> it's like a number of puzzles all together here. So that's that. The leg is coming forward, comes down, hits the ground here. I think that's good. I need to do the rest of this body though, hey? Um about this arm, this back arm. Swinging forward, so here. Rock, rock. <laughs> Big hand here because it's swinging forward. Dum, dum, like that. I guess that's okay. And then. I feel like this front leg could be a little more up here. I 
How's that look? Is that too much? <laughs> I guess that's fine. Is it? Hang on, I think I messed up somewhere. Coming forward. Yeah, yeah, that fixed it. I think, <laughs> possibly. Boy, this is messy now, eh? <laughs> this is gonna look funny. Don't worry about it. Don't look so hard. If you squint, everything will look perfect. And then the leg is up. Okay, that's good. And now this should be coming a little forward, right? I feel like I need another frame in between here. Let's look at the whole thing. Seems okay. I'm looking at the leg here. The legs, I should say. This back one drags a little bit. On like seven here. Oh well. <laughs> I can't really figure out how I should go from here though. Hmm. Lifting. And then down, flat. Uh oh, what the heck? What's going on? Oh, it's because I have this uh, there. Did I? And then so this is now swinging back down. How did this happen? What is this one? Hmm. Somehow I confused myself. This doesn't look right. The arms are back. And they should be going in. For some reason I drew them back here. Let me just redo this. <laughs> We go from here. B 
Boy, it's hot in here. Is this correct? It's like a big jump. This reminds me of, um, it was an old Flash game where the characters look like this. Um, how did they look? They look like this. <laughs> and they had like knives and guns and stuff. Pretty much like every kid I knew played it. What is that called? Madness Combat? I think that, it's something like that. I remember it had a name like that. Like one word, madness, or like insanity, or impossible, or something. It was something like that. Now this should be mirrored, so this... Hmm. Hang on. Forward and then down and back, so I need to go back. Um. Here, let me Google that. Madness Combat. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Is this it? I think so. <laughs> there was like a, a specific game. Hmm. I don't know. It was something like that. <laughs> it was really fun though. We try to play it at school, and the teachers would be like, "No, because it was too violent." <laughs> Stupid teachers. How many frames is it? So when this hits the floor on here, one. So it's like back, back, and then off. So that's here, back, back, and then off. This leg here, planted or whatever. What's the other leg doing? Swinging, and then this is where it's at its extent, and then it extends down. So planted, swinging, this is where it's at its extent, Something like that. It's hard to think what the pelvis would look like in this situation. I don't really care about it looking clean. Dun, and then forward. And then the next step would be here. One, two, four. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm animating in um, Clip Studio.
three. This leg is forward. Which means, where's the one where the leg is forward? Here. So the arms, this is where the arms are like the most swinging, I guess? Forward, forward. And then they need to be like right here, this shoulder. Maybe back like this. <laughs> uh, looks funny. There you go. <laughs> and the other arm is like back there. This is really fun. And then all the way like that. Super big swing. So the other arm is gone. Um. Is that right? I feel like I already have the full thing, don't I? Doesn't it go in from here to here? Ish? Dum, dum, dum. Yeah, so I don't really need these last two frames. Let's see what that looks like. It doesn't look too bad, hey? There's a bit of a hop at the end. <laughs> it's not exactly like a... The timing on the feet hitting the ground is a little off, but <laughs> it's okay. It doesn't look too bad. I like the swing of the arms too, right? Cool. Yeah, just the concept of having your next in your, your next frame and your previous frame is so helpful. So cool. Yeah, it looks great, right? I like it. Let's watch it some more. That's not too bad, right? <laughs> not too bad at all. I wish I saved the uh, the previous one, hey? Oh well, doesn't matter. I'll delete this one too. If you're watching live, you get to see. Otherwise, it's gone, gone forever. I'll do a, uh, a walk cycle next. Proper one. But I'll try and um, basically, um, this was just practice and warm up, I guess, and then the one I'll do next. Let me grab that reference, pop Saki through in the Discord. Um, okay, delete this, delete that. Copy. Do, do, do. Why not save? Um, I don't know, I don't really care. I'm, um, I'm a proponent of uh, <laughs> like a, what do you call it? I guess like a Zen mindset to some extent, at least. How do I resize this? I like things to be um, you know 
<laughs> Not permanent. Put this here. Okay, that's good enough. So this is five frames. So I'll cut off this last two again. And then I'll, what I'll do is I'll draw one, three, five, seven, and nine, I guess. And then I'll do the in-between, so I don't need this either. Sure. <laughs> or no, I would need number 10, yeah. In the future, how will you know your progress? Um, I'll know it in my brain. How's it going, dumb little rat kid? <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> Scrape your knee and elbow. That's why uh, we give kids like you knee pads and elbow pads. Anyway, how's it going? Um, okay. So I'll draw a floor. I don't need this flare anymore. Let's do a floor. Hmm. Yeah, if I ever want to look back, I can just look at the archive, I guess so, hey? Um, the archive of this stream. Um, so the head really bobs, eh? Let's do another line up here for that. Um, maybe I'll do it like here. What's the proportions of this? I guess I don't need to match them. I'll just draw my own thing. <laughs> I don't need an ear. <laughs> okay. I don't know why, just drawing a face on, on things makes me laugh. Like, all the time. It's like the easiest way I can make myself laugh while I'm drawing. To just throw a face on these figures that I do. <laughs> Dopey little face. Um. So the leg is straight. Let me move this up a little. This is really fun. The shoulder is back. Okay. <laughs> I like this walk cycle too. It's kind of there's a lot of character to it with like the hands. <laughs> okay. Space for this foot. Huh. 
<laughs> Opinion on vanilla flavored ice cream. Um, hmm, it's probably S tier. I don't know what else would be in the S tier. But you can't go wrong with vanilla, you know? And it goes well with a lot of flavors. Like if you're eating ice cream and and like pie or like cake or something, you know? Like it matches other flavors really well. Um, it's also really good when it's cold. I think certain ice cream flavors aren't that refreshing, you know? Like I don't think chocolate is a very refreshing flavor for ice cream, if you ask me. But vanilla is a very refreshing flavor, so it's got that. I think if you add mint, like chocolate mint, then it becomes refreshing, but, <laughs> you know, Superman ice cream? I don't know what that is. Like the ones that they sell in the ice cream truck, where his eyes are like gumballs. <laughs> Those ones. Ice cream is supposed to be cold, yeah. <laughs> Did I say it not cold? Did I say something? Did I say something wrong? Obviously ice cream is cold, but you know, like some... It's not just the, the temperature of the food that's refreshing, you know? Like I've had spicy um, Thai noodles before and they were they weren't um, refreshing, but they were cold. <laughs> I think they were, I honestly don't remember. But they were like spicy. You know what I mean? It's like the flavor has a lot to do with that too. Um, okay, so there's number one. How am I doing this again? I want to do the keys. So let me grab this just for proportion's sake. Put him down here. What other ice cream would be in the S tier? I think strawberry is up there. I'm a fan of strawberry though, the flavor. Strawberry ice cream, you know? Strawberry anything really. It's just me. Um, what else? Obviously Choco Mint. Mm, I like Rocky Road. I haven't tried a lot of ice cream flavors now that I think about it. Butterscotch is not very that not that good, I think. If you ask me. Not very that good. Is that even an ice cream flavor? I just don't like the general taste of butterscotch. It tastes like an old person's house. What else is there? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I like um, Neapolitan, or Napoleon as I call it. Napoleon ice cream is also pretty good. I think it's probably the best. How's it good, Owl? How's it, go how's it going, Owl? <laughs> how's it good? You like ice cream when it's cold out? Is that what you said? What were we talking about? I forgot. It's really hard to respond to chat because I forget what I just said, you know? <laughs> I prefer ice cream when it's cold though, for sure. Um, <laughs> Why'd you eat an old person's home? I'm just saying that's what butterscotch tastes like, you know? It reminds me of that, even though like I've never had butterscotch at an old person's house. It just feels old fashioned. It's like an old flavor. You know? Like, are there any modern incarnations of butterscotch? The only time I have them is those little individually wrapped cube candies at Halloween these things, you know? <laughs> I 
said vanilla ice cream is better when it's cold. <laughs> Did I? Well, I mean it. <laughs> I think all ice cream is better when it's cold. Cold out, you know? It, like outside? In the winter. How about that? What if I say that? That's probably a little more clear. <laughs> Have a nice swing to this walk, right? Dun, 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 dun. So this comes in. It's a funny walk cycle. <laughs> yeah, ice cream has more flavor when it's cold outside. I agree. I think when it's melting, you know, there's a difference between eating like um, melted ice cream, like when it's sort of liquidy or softer, I guess. I like the the taste of like snow, like hard, frozen, fresh out of the freezer ice cream the most. Or like ice cream cake, you know? Like Dairy Queen ice cream cakes. This might be a little too extreme, this leg. Like the angle is just a little too much. That's okay. Ice cream without the ice. Although I also really like um, if you have like a bowl of ice cream and it's like melted or whatever, so it's like it's like a soup and you just mix it all up. It's really good with um, Napoleon ice cream, Neapolitan. If you wait until it gets like liquidy and then you just mix it up into like a brown sludge. And then if you put that kind of in the freezer again for like a little bit, <laughs> just a little little bit of time. Um, 35, so that it kind of gets like those peaks. Did that work? I guess it didn't, hey? Eh? Um. I don't know, I guess I have a very peculiar way of eating. Okay, so this is the next one where he's taking a step. Our guy here. So it's raised up a little. Hmm. But yeah, I would say vanilla is S tier ice cream. Very long-winded answer. Just thought I should get my reasoning, you know. Do, 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 do. Okay. How's it going, Alan? Are you still working on your prompt? This is mine here. What I'm going to do is probably finish this simple walk cycle, and then tomorrow I will... I'll show you really quick. Some people might not have seen um, this character I made, hey? He's up here. Where did I even save that? Um, this one. A little big. 
I'll, I'll put this character on the walk cycle tomorrow. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. I think it'll be fun. <clears throat> Just um, to give this a little more character than just having a simple stick man, you know? Or I guess it's not really a stick man. But I'll get the skeleton down today, the framework, and then uh, I'll draw over top. Stuck on the last 10% of the background. Nice. <laughs> At least it's only 10%. It's not stuck on like 50%, right? <laughs> right? That's good though. There's still a lot of time, so no rush. Yeah, I've been thinking of different, um, you know, because I like have a character now, even just a simple one. That I, I'm thinking of like things that I can do with it. Like I maybe want to make like a pixel art. Like if, if ever I need to like do something with a character, I can just use that character. You know, it's kind of cool. If I want to try some pixel art, I can. Because I don't want to do like fan art, you know? I feel like if I'm going to do fan art, I want to do like a good job of it. But if it's just some throwaway practice like this, just for fun, then I can just use this character. Glorified stick figure, G stick. <laughs> I guess so. It's basically a stick figure, right? How's it going, Meow? Good to see you. Long time no chat. Um, <laughs> this is funny. Okay. Doing some animation today. Just playing around, having fun. Okay. <laughs> Doing good, practicing some things, nice. Me too. Incidentally, I feel like every day I'm practicing some things. <laughs> Practice is, is good though, I like practicing. I like learning. I like Not really learning, I like studying. Which is funny. <laughs> Never thought I would like studying. I didn't like school, but I like studying. What's the deal with that? School system is just a little, uh, it's not for me. <laughs> studying equals learning? Kind of. Studying is a method of learning, I guess. You have some water here. Boy, it's hot. Yum, yum, yum. 1k followers? Yeah, I'm almost at like 1500 now, all of a sudden. Every time I look, it's like, it's higher. <laughs> um, thanks, everybody, for liking my channel. Pretty cool. I'm just a blob, you know? I'm just a blob with a dream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is funny. This is gonna look funny in the end.
Okay. 25. Hmm. Everyone loves me? Do they? Thanks, everyone. <laughs> um, oh, this one's even higher. Wow, wow, wow. Why is that? Um, oh, it's because of the foot. I see. I see. I understand. So this one needs to be up here. Well, I never thought about this sort of a thing, you know? How the head bobs up and down as you walk. This is exaggerated, right? But it makes sense. Um, this one. Thanks again, everyone. Fine. Hmm. <laughs> I'm surprised at how fun this is. down to mirror which one is it this one it's mirroring that one yeah yeah Da -da -da -da. This. Oops. How's it going, Kira? I'm doing some animation today. Good to see you. Hope everyone's doing good. I see you shaved. Yeah, my mustache fell off. I don't know where it went. It's kind of a shame. It fell off. <laughs> Opinion on drawing very realistic. Um, like photorealism? It's not um, my favorite thing, just in terms of like aesthetically, but I think it's really like amazing. People who can draw. Like one of my favorite YouTube artists is Dan Beardshaw, who does like photorealism and like backgrounds and stuff, all with like pencil. Stuff is amazing. It's not something I'm uh, interested in doing myself, but I definitely like looking at it. <laughs> like realism. It's very cool. I like a five pencil method too. I've been watching his YouTube channel for years and years and years and years. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing, um, I'm doing just a simple walk cycle. So I've, I've got like the main things here and then I'm going to do the in-betweens. 
And then tomorrow, I'll put this character to the walk cycle, you know? Can I zoom in properly? Thank you. I'll do this character walk in. I'm just drawing like the skeleton today. And then I'll do that tomorrow. And then that'll be my thing for this prompt, <laughs> for the prompt of September, hey? Eh? Yeah, walk cycles are not simple. I'm following a guide that um, Popsaki threw in the Discord. Um, it's really helping me out. Just to give a nice framework. Understand like where, what's happening, where. Earlier in the stream, also, I um, I messed around with some run cycles. <laughs> if you rewind, you can see them. I'm just playing around, getting used to the onion skin and stuff. I feel like that's wrong. It shouldn't be touching the ground. I think I have the leg too low, that's what it is. That's right. Much better. Yeah, that's where it would emerge. Yep. Tired from the Johnny Cash concert? <laughs> How did it go? Sounds like fun. I haven't been to a concert in a long time. I've never been to like a big one, you know, with like a, in like a big venue. I've been to like small live house sort of things. I think like two or three, maybe four or five actually, <laughs> I think about it. really love that atmosphere. Actually, I think, let me see if I can find this picture. Um, there's a specific picture. Mm. Where is it? Yeah, this one. I'm somewhere in this picture. <laughs> this was in Japan. I'm somewhere in here. <laughs> I know where I am, but you don't. You can't see me because the lighting, it, it makes me look like, uh, it makes it look like all these people are humans. There's a blob among, among these people here. <laughs> this is a, a cool concert. On stage, yeah, I'm on stage. <laughs> Had to leave 10 minutes early to catch the train. Yeah, that's good. 10 minutes early is not that big of a deal. You beat the crowd to beat the rush as well, hey? Theater stage, nice. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Like I said, it's been a while. I really like um, concerts though. Also one day randomly, um, I was at the there's like a, an amusement park kind of around where I live. And I went there with my dad once when I was a kid. Maybe not a kid, I was like a young, young teen blob or something like that, 13 or 14. And there's just like a concert with one of my dad's favorite bands. They were just playing there when, when we were about to leave. We we're like, okay, <laughs> let's watch this concert, free concert at the uh, local amusement park there. It was really cool. I think that might have been the first concert I ever been, was at, ever went to. Saw, I guess. I can't remember what band it was though. Wish I did. I don't remember though.
Asian buffet, nice. Can't remember the exact Asian food that it was, but it was really good. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Honk honk. I love buffets. I'm a I'm not the kind of person you want. If you run a buffet, you don't want me to show up. Because if it's like an all-you-can-eat buffet, <laughs> you'll lose money. And you know, it's like most customers won't. You know, they'll eat like a regular human amount, but I'm a blob, right? So I can eat more. It's funny, I've always had an endless appetite. You'd think I'd be a bigger blob. I'm just regular sized. Um, I think these arms might be a little too exaggerated, this one. And this one. I went to an all-you-can-eat pizza place in Japan once. And um, let's just say I, I ate a lot of pizza. Because their pizza is really small. You know, pizza in the West is like a meal, you know, <laughs> their pizzas are like all thin crust kind of thing. <laughs> I eat a lot of pizza there. God, it was so good though. I'm doing like a really kind of exaggerated, bouncy, kind of in line with the reference I'm using. But I want it to look kind of like um, frolicky, you know? Almost like skipping. Hmm. Let me lower these a little more. Actually, I don't really need these. Okay, and then this one. So it should be this one, but mirrored. <laughs> so I'm going to lower these. Or no, it's this one. My bad. Trying to think of which one is mirrored here. This one. planning to do with your art as a career? Um, I don't really have much of a plan. I want to make games, just whether it's for a career or for fun. You know? There's that. I want to like do the art for them. Aside from that, not really anything. Just for fun, really. Just as a hobby. The number one reason is to to make games. But in terms of career, I don't know. I don't like to think about money. <laughs> oh god, it's hot in here. 
<laughs> Am I out of water? I think I have some left. Now I'm out of water. Maybe base dancer. <laughs> I guess. I've always wanted to make games, you know? And it's more accessible now than it's ever been. It's like, if not now, when, right? So I'm teaching myself how to draw. Then I'll teach myself how to... How to use, like, uh, Unity or Unreal or whatever, right? That stuff. I downloaded um, Unreal Engine last night. I play around with uh, some stuff. But I like doing one thing at a time, right? So I'm doing one year of drawing. I'll probably do three months after. <laughs> one year and three months of drawing, teaching myself how to draw. Which leg is front here? What's this one? So this is coming back now. And then um, after that, I'll start. I'll probably make like a simple visual novel. I've got like a short story I wrote um, that I think I could probably adapt into a, like a simple visual novel, just to like get the feel for making something. I've got sort of an idea for like a point-and-click adventure game. Got a kind of an idea for like an action platformer, 2D, you know. I just want to have fun. That's really it. It's making things here and there. If I can make a career off of that and like streaming, I like streaming too. It's really fun. Then uh, so be it, you know. Sure, I'll take that. But I'm not like aiming for that, you know. not like if it doesn't happen I'll be like distraught <laughs> that's why I'm not I'm not too concerned with my subscriber count or anything because I feel like if I start focusing on that then my priorities will change or something you know I'm happy where I'm at right now I think this leg is a little off. Can I rotate this? Hmm. It should be like this. That's what it is. I should make a dating sim about <laughs> dating a blue happy blob. Sounds like a very niche game, hey? Who's the target audience for that? <laughs> Probably Kira. <laughs> no offense, Kira. Here, even still here. Hey, how do you know? Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> um. Okay. And this foot needs to be reflective of that one. So straight. Okay. Was it like a cover bands or something, Kira? Or I don't know um, how, like, um, like how'd that go with the Johnny Cash concert? <laughs> you know, because he's dead and all. Because <laughs> I know um, 
Uh, who was it? I can't remember who it was. Some jazz guy. His um his band. I think kept touring like with his son or something. I don't remember. But like maybe it was something like that. I don't know anything about Johnny Cash, you know, so. He is dead, right? <laughs> I feel like didn't he die after releasing Hurt? I think. Oh, this guy that's playing is Johnny. Yeah, that sounds like fun. <laughs> Those people are like really good. You know, like some cover bands are like impersonators. They're like I saw like a um a Beatles cover band or something, and they were like they even looked like them. Like did they get plastic surgery or something? It's crazy. Some people are really talented like that. Like they've got the same voice. Or like Freddie Mercury impersonators or whatever, you know? Jax Johnson. <laughs> it's a funny name. Stage name. It always made me laugh how like old musicians from like the 70s and stuff had funny names. Like Mitch Mitchell. <laughs> or like Ainsley Dunbar. Prairie Prince. I don't know why I'm naming drummers. But, you know, they all have like funny names. <laughs> Musician names. <laughs> yeah, he made songs 100 years ago. Pretty sure he's dead. Yeah. You never know. You never know these days. Um, okay. This one needs to be a little less of a swing. Why? I don't know. Do 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 Hmm. Okay, and the back arm, same as this, just mirrored. Boy, all this pose practice, figure drawing practice is really helping me with this. Can make like a mannequin skeleton pretty easily here. Not too much issue. Okay, so that's the. Let's see how this looks. It's gonna flash a bit. I guess I should hide these, eh? Did I do like the wrong thing somewhere? One, two, three, four, five. Did I like draw another one somewhere? Oh, it's probably because I don't have the in-betweens there. So yeah, that's why it looks weird. I see, I see. Well, anyway, <laughs> time for in-betweens. I think, right? Dum. Wait, and back. Right, I think. So here, some over. And then step. So now I need to mirror this here, right? I think. Yeah, I need to mirror this here and then mirror this with the mirror for that. Boy, this is confusing. <laughs> One, two, three, four, 
five, and then this should link into this, right? One, two, and then it would go back. So I did these one in between. Sorry, I'm just thinking here. I want to do this. If I want to add some more frames, I should probably do that. Yeah. Let me get rid of this. Put this down here. Um, I think if I just do this, and then I can reverse it, right? I guess you can't rename them, eh? Hmm. We do with these. Okay, and then six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now all I need is to bridge that. Boy, this is challenging. Let me take off my sweater. Oy, oy, oy. Oh, okay. Doesn't help that I'm wearing my hottest shirt <laughs> as well underneath my sweater. Okay, um, so what I need to do now is link frames, one, hang on, let me think here, so I have this foot leg forward, step, and then it's back, and then up, so I basically need one more frame linking this and that, right? I think step and then do I need to do the other leg coming forward because I don't have that yet right yeah, yeah yeah okay I see I see I get it kind of <laughs> anyway how's it going everyone welcome to uh, local blob struggles with animation Episode one. Okay. So this is the previous one. Um, I don't need these anymore. Eh? Let me delete those. So now I basically just want to copy. I'm using some reference for this, by the way. Um, all you need to do now is do this again, but with the leg that was in behind in front instead. I believe, right? Step, and then back. Step. So I take it from here, basically do the same thing. Like this, but with the other leg. Starting from here, hey? Yeah, yeah, so that's my frame one, so I need to go from two. Okay, boy, this is confusing. <laughs> All right. How's it going, Popsaki? I just finished today's gestures. Animation is looking good. Thank you, sir. Okay. Um, so hold on, let me go back. Keep these here. So I need this one. It's my reference. 
This guide is really helpful. This one will be more or less the same, hey? Can I make the onion skin less? Is there a way to change the opacity of just the onion skin? That would be helpful. Um, maybe if I do this? Yeah. That helps. Okay. I don't actually need it here. You know what? Because I have the previous ones. So I'll use this. And then I just need to swap the legs and the arms. It should be more or less the same. Maybe I'll have an open mouth here. <laughs> Why not? So which arm is in front here? I keep these lines clean if I can. Down. That. So I need this one in the back then, eh? This arm in front. I'm having fun. Sound the alarm. Then, since this leg is behind, am I doing this correct? Mm, no, I should be doing the next frame, right? Boy, this is difficult. Hang on. This is this one. I'm trying to think how this would look. Step, down, up, down, down, and then up. Hmm. I'm really confused here. <laughs> I feel like I should copy this one, because basically these two are the same but mirrored, right? So I should basically continue on like from here. Yeah, yeah. So I, I was going in the right direction, I think. Well, let's just continue and see what happens. It's the worst that could happen, hey? So then this arm is in behind. So I'm going to kind of mirror this. It is behind, right? Yeah. Okay, and then... This is the part where it doesn't make sense, the legs for me. Hmm. Back. Step. Down. Front foot goes down. Front foot down. I see. So the back leg goes from straight to like that. Straight to. Okay. Let me just copy this for now. Mm. 
Wait. Now it's boom, tum, 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 tum. I think this could lower down a little bit more though, hey? Down, up. Maybe this could be higher. Maybe not. I think it's probably okay. It doesn't really matter. So this one would be this one, right? But with switched legs, which means that we would want this one, question mark. <laughs> Okay, so this one will be basically the same, it's just the legs. Up, back. Or sorry, the arms, <laughs> not the legs. I'm just wondering how, how much I want to do the arms. Dun. I wonder if I could honestly just copy this entire frame, hey? What if I do that? Well, I may as well just redraw it. Mm, okay. I'll add a bit of a variation. that um, Might be a little too much. Yeah, it's a little too much, eh? Mm. Aha, I see. I see. I'm learning. <laughs> Almost made a, a funny error there. But I didn't. You can't say I did. I didn't, I swear. Perfect. I used to be able to say the perfect, like the Soul, not Soul Calibur, Super Smash Bros. announcer guy. <laughs> it sounded like exactly like him. Perfect. Hmm. 
Pum, 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 Okay, so next would be this one then, hey? But mirrored. Which one is that? That's this one. So instead it is left leg, or sorry, right leg, going back, coming forward. Is that correct? So I'm basically linking into this frame. Down, over, and then one more to reach this. Is that correct? Back. That's this one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. The next one is this. So the leg is swinging forward. I see. Swinging forward, ready to step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised at how much fun this is. I thought it would be more um, challenging, but the onion skin is really intuitive. Super cool. I thought it'd be like a struggle just to get something to link to the next frame, you know? I thought I'd be like racking my brain just to figure out that, that much. I sort of am, but it's for different reasons. I keep kind of forgetting which leg is in front and I need to remind myself. <laughs> honk honk. So, dun, this shoulder is in the back now. Is that right? What is this hand doing? Forward, swimming back. It's really raining out there, man.
back. And then toward this. Something like that, right? How's that? I minimize my reference, go here. That's not too bad, right? Hard to tell if there's any mistakes. I don't think there are. Let me look at the limbs one at a time. How's it going, cold blood? Nice timing. Uh, I tried to fling the hands a bit too, but I think I messed them up. Around here. Where did I mess it up? I think it's here. This arm is basically doing the same thing as the next frame. This left arm in the back. It's the only issue. that still a little weird <laughs> um, yeah this is still a uh, clip studio in the back extend forward extend I think it's probably fine the way I had it. It's just I need to do the... hand like that. I don't know. The back arm is a little odd, but I think it's okay. I think that's okay, right? Could be worse. <laughs> Not bad for a first attempt, hey? I mean, I drew it with a guide, but... <laughs> Sometimes you need a guide, alright? I, I have nothing against drawing with reference with guides. Looking at the legs here, making sure there's no weird overlap. I think it's good. It's hard to tell. It's moving too fast for me. There's a bit of overlap on some of these frames. Keep that stuff in and it's kind of cool. Looks good to me, yeah, right? I can't, I almost like, I can't tell if it's, if there's an error or not. I need to like look in depth here. I think it's good, right? I think I can slow it down. I just don't know how to, um, how to do it. I think I probably have to go in the timeline settings or something, but this is where I was noticing. Yeah, okay. 
There, that's a little more clean. Sweet. That's pretty cool. I wonder if I want to do any more in-betweens. Probably not. Um, I mean, I could, you know, because I've only used nine frames here, you know, get rid of these. It's a little faster now. <laughs> That's a little too fast. I think I can only go up to 24 frames though because I, I only have Clip Studio, like the base version. So you can only do, I think you can only do like three seconds of animation or something. I don't know. There's some sort of limitation. I think that's fine though. If I wanted to, I could add some in-betweens, but I don't know if I will. What I want to do, that's like a good skeleton framework. What I want to do is um, tomorrow, I'll come back to this. That's probably good enough for today. I can feel my brain power um, waning, but this character I created, I want to um, kind of draw on top of this skeleton, this walking skeleton guy. Draw that character, see if I can do that. So that'll be tomorrow. <laughs> we got like the framework down and then I'll try to actually draw like a character on this. I think it'll be fun. So, so that'll be that. <laughs> um, and I guess that means it's it for me here today. Hey? Let me save this. It's hot in here, man. Whew, it doesn't help that I'm out of water and I'm wearing my hottest shirt. This shirt is thick. Anyway, um, yeah, thanks for watching everybody. I guess I'll keep this playing, hey? Eh? I'm gonna try and add this, um, draw this character walking tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. I think this turned out pretty good though. Thanks Popsaki for uh, giving me that simple animation guide. Hang on, I'm, I messed it up now. Did I? I feel like it's all weird now. Yeah, there we go. I hit it on the wrong frame, I think. <laughs> yeah, thanks again, Popsaki. Thanks everyone for watching. Everybody all, you know, not just Popsaki. <laughs> um, today was a lot of fun. I honestly thought it would be um, much more difficult. Not that it was easy, but... Um, I don't know, until you... Something looks intimidating. More intimidating than it actually is until you give it a shot, you know. That sort of happened today. So thanks again, everybody. Um, that'll do it for me here. Like I said, I'll be back tomorrow to put a character to this and maybe like a little bit of a background. If I have time, we'll see. I don't know. That might be a lot of extra work. <laughs> I don't know if I have the, the willpower to do that. But um, whether I do or I don't, I'll do the character at least. So that'll be that. Thanks again, everyone. Let me click on, what do I click? This button. <laughs> Animation's fun. I'll probably do um, a little bit of animation here and there. I don't know, honestly, if I feel like it, because it's really fun. <laughs> so who knows? Thanks again for uh, for hanging out, and uh, I'll be back tomorrow with some more of this, hey? Eh? Take care, everyone. <laughs>